just coming home from work. <laughs> but we won't be seeing William tonight. Well, we won't be going out in him because we're tired and we're going to have some dinner at home. Look at him, look. Waiting for us like a good boy. Sorry, William, we won't be out in you tonight. But we will see you tomorrow. Good morning. We didn't use the van last night. We stayed home and uh, just chilled at home. I had some grilled belly pork and I had a load of veg and gravy with mine because I'm type 2 diabetic and I try to make the effort when possible, <laughs> cut the carbs out. Can't do it all the time, but you know, just a meal or two here and there does make a difference to the old blood sugar levels. And uh, girls had uh, chips, and, chips and beans with it. Well, actually, Jackie had chips and beans with the bite and our daughter, she, she'll eat beans if she's got to, but she prefers a bit of veg. So she had belly pork, chips and veg, but she don't like the gravy on it. <laughs> I'm the one who likes gravy, I'm gravy mad. So I just thought I'd come up to the bus this morning, top up the water, um, and then I got I had to put some food away, you know, some dried food and that for tonight. Like we got crackers and stuff like that and chutneys and that, so I've chucked that in the van. And what else have I got to do? Oh, I've got to empty the toilet on the way back. Chucked a bit of water in it. I think I've already said that. And then I'll empty the toilet so he's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't left it so far this time. It's only about half full, but you know, we've got about 40 steps to walk down to get to our house anyway. So I'd rather carry it down the steps when it's half full rather than having <laughs> about three and a half gallons in it. Now this is one of those not so pretty jobs. Come on, what am I doing? <laughs> oh God, here we go. Hang on, there's a button to get on it somewhere. So how do you, no, how do you do that one? And get the button without pouring it all over your bloody arm. Right, there's a button there to press. Who wants to do it for me? It's got to be done. I must admit though, there's no lumps in it this week. And add blue, I put that, no, not add blue, that blue stuff in. It don't smell too bad actually. I wouldn't want to drink it, but it don't smell too bad. Last week I put biological washing tablets in because I ran out of blue. Well, I hadn't ordered the blue. Well, I, I was waiting for it to be delivered. I put one capsule in, didn't work very well, but this, just smells all bubblegummy, so not too bad. Let's give it a little rinse. Oh. There's a bit of water in it. I must admit, it literally just smelled bubblegum, so. Definitely blue toilet fluid over biological washing tablets works for me. Hang on, hang on, I'm going to be in the right bloody way, aren't I? There he is. That's that one. Where's this bubblegum stuff? How much shall I put in? One, two, three, four. Lovely, should be enough, shouldn't it? It's about what I put in last week. And they say, yeah, that's the stuff I'm using. And a little bit of water, just to. Pop the lid on. Don't give it a shake. There we go. Ready to rock for another week. Right, let's pop this old cartridge back. We need two hands to pop this open. That one and that one. Right, I can take, I can put this in with one hand, but I couldn't take it out with one hand because it, it had a bit of whatnots in it. There he is all locked back into place and then I'll just lock that one I'm in work at the moment and I've just cooked up a joint of roast beef it's not safe it's really not safe I need to move away from this kitchen <laughs> mm. oh 
That's absolutely eye rolling. Well, we were planning on going out in the bus tonight, <laughs> but we were knackered. I bought all the cheeses and the salami and everything like that, and I got it all ready. But I even packed it in my bag, and then I went up for a shower, and I come out of the shower, and I was knackered. So we decided to order a Chinese. We'll have all the cheese stuff tomorrow. Well, we made it back into the bus again today. Um, we've been working all day. Yesterday, we wanted to go out. We came home from work. I got all our dinner ready, our cheese board and that. Packed it all up in the bags. Had it in the kitchen waiting. Went upstairs for a shower. <laughs> Come out of the shower, laid on the bed for about 15 minutes and neither of us literally wanted to move. So we ended up staying in last night and having a Chinese. Uh, but we made it out today and uh, we've got all our cheese board and our meat and that packed up into our bag and we're gonna go out onto the moors because we like to sit there and we're gonna have our, um, we, you know, we're gonna have our dinner out on the moors, put the kettle on, out in the, just out in the countryside. It's lovely. Oh, you never guess what. Was it last week? I think it was in last week's video. I was telling you about that stupid 20 mile an hour speed limit near where I live. It just goes on and on and on. Well, as far as I'm aware, every time I go for it, I'm always watching my speed. 20 miles an hour for about 10 to 15 miles an hour normally but I had a blinking speed ticket thing through the door um, yesterday from the end of end of August 30th of August and yeah there's a chemist at the end of the uh, at the end of our speed area I'm just gonna flash these cars out a minute come on cars out you come that's right I'm not gonna let them all out yeah you go for it well, you're in for a penny in for a pound yeah there's a chemist at the end of the street well basically I popped in there to get some, you know, pick up some tablets or something on the way home from work. And, uh, you know, moving traffic in that, I put my indicator on in between moving cars to pull out and uh, over accelerated, over accelerated as I was pulling out into the traffic. We slowed down again. We remember the incident because Jackie said, oh, watch your speed. But obviously I just over accelerated to get out into the flow of the traffic. And yeah, 26 miles per hour. Um, as I was pulling out and they got me. So I had to send me details online last night and um, I think what they do is you um, you got to do a speed awareness course. You pay 100 quid <laughs> and you do the speed awareness course or you don't do the speed awareness course and you pay 100 quid and get three points. So <laughs> I think I'll do the speed awareness course, um, pay the 100 quid and just have to be double, double, double vigilant. But honestly, you know, like I said before, you know, I was driving down it today, I was doing about 14 miles an hour, and it's ridiculous. 14, I was crawling up, and it's just, say no more, say no more, run over, I'll, they can have their 100 quid, I'll do a speed, speed awareness course. It never hurts any people that's been driving for donkey's years to do a new awareness course of whatever, perception, whatever I mean I passed my test what 35 years ago uh, when I was 18 years about 34 years ago when I was 18 years old I passed my test then I passed the bus drivers test in what 2005 I think it was so that's going on about Christ it's like 18 years ago now it really is isn't it don't time fly so I've done a bus drivers test in about um, 2005 18 years ago so I'll have it. I'm happy I'll do a speed awareness test everybody's happy they can have my hundred quid I hope they spend it wisely <laughs> lying in someone's pockets we're not happy about that no I'm not happy about it of course I'm not blinking happy about it but what can you do you can't really take on the you can't take on the council the police force the establishment I would like to make a point I would like to make a stand and say oh, I'm not paying it well you know what's happening what will happen they'll bloody send a warrant out they it says on there I get sick if you don't well if you don't respond in 28 days you get six points and a thousand pound and if you don't pay that thousand pound they'll take you to the bigger court and then you'll get done for god knows what you'll have to take time off work and do you know what Watch your speed. as much as i'm not happy about it those assholes really ain't worth it so they can have my hundred pound they can poke it they can smoke it they can do what they want to it um, and i'm not a fast driver i'm not a fast driver i was literally just coming out coming out from the chemist to uh you know to join to merge with the traffic but there you go <laughs> well we made it to our park up i've made uh first thing we ever do when we get here is turn the gas on 
make a cup of tea. So I've got a cup of tea here. Jackie's sat in the back with her cup of tea, like she always does. Um, just got some plates out and we're gonna, well, we, I'm gonna chop up some cheese, butter some crackers, because we've got some crackers left over from last week when we done this. We've got the little cheese board there from Tesco, which is quite nice. Everything you need there, lots of different types of cheeses. We've got our grapes, we've got our bit of salami. We've got mother's homemade pickle onions. Mother's homemade brinjo chutney. Jackie's got some, what is it Jackie likes that? Yellow stuff, piccalilli. So she's she's gonna have a bit of piccalilli. And if we got any room left afterwards, we'll have some uh, homemade fruit scones with jam and cream. So yeah, I'm gonna get this all ready now, butter it all up. It's nice to be out before it gets dark, actually. We managed to whiz out of work, get back home, get all sorted. Uh, I daren't have a shower and a lay down on the bed because we'd probably never made it out the door again. So uh, yeah. Let's get this sorted and have our tea. Daisy, you're going to have your chicken in a minute. Daisy always has roast chicken when we have our tea. Do you want some roast chicken in a minute? Daisy, you can have your chicken. Do you want daddy to do it for you? I will. Give me five. Give me five. Oh, she gives me five. She's a good girl. There. Right, it's all laid out and it's all ready. And the next thing to do is to get it down our throats because we're hungry and I know Jackie hasn't had nothing all day. So are you looking forward to it, Jackie? Yeah, thanks, Carl. Oh, you're more than welcome, Jackie. <laughs> we've got the sun-dried tomatoes in olive oil in it. And we got, what else was it? Some lovely olives and some salami and everything else you can see on the plate. And we're going to blink and well enjoy it. Daisy, want your chicken? Got it here, look. Where's your chicken? Here's your chicken. Do you want your chicken? All right, you can have that. Where are you? Can I give it to you? There you go. You gonna have that chicken? Go on then, good girl. <laughs> well, we had our tea in the bus, and then I, me and Jackie laid down in the back, and I don't know, how long did I sleep for, Jack? I fell asleep. Half hour? Half hour or so. Before I took tea? Yeah, half an hour or so before she booted me out of bed to go and make her a cup of tea. Daisy absolutely adores being in the bus. Hello, Daisy. Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? She loves it in the bus. Jackie loves it in the bus. I loves it in the bus. But we're having a cup of tea now. And then I suppose we better drive home. But I could quite easily just sleep here for the whole evening. Wake up, go home, have a shower, go work. <sighs> well, we had a lovely, uh, lovely evening on the moors. At our dinner, I had a little fall asleep in the back of the van. Then we had a cup of tea and we thought, well, we better get rocking to go home again. So we're going to go home now because we've got work in the morning. But it's been lovely out on the moors. Wish we could have stayed there. We maybe could have if we woke up at about six and then drove home for a shower and that. But at least we get an extra hour's kip if we go home. We made it out in the bus again. We got home from work. I think we parked the car up at 31 minutes past four and we were back in the bus again at heading down the road at 56 was it 56 or 55 so 24 minutes it took us to get out of the car run indoors get our stuff run back out get in the car again and it's a beautiful sunny day as well no fog no rain no nothing just beautiful sunshine daylight with this week got our backsides into gear and headed out the door so we're off up to the moors like we do on a work on a work day, work night, whatever, um, with our lunch, or with our dinner, and we're gonna have a nice dinner in the van, hopefully cop a little bit of sunshine, bit of fresh air, open the door, get some fresh air blowing. It's gonna be lovely. We just like being in the van. I mean, it's amazing. What can I say? Making the most of the evening, because tomorrow night we've got a psychic medium event at work. So we're gonna start work about nine o'clock tomorrow morning and we probably won't get out of there until about, if we're lucky, 11 o'clock at night, 11, 11.30 at night. Because we've got a group of psychic mediums coming in. What do they call themselves again, Jackie? Forget-me-nots. The forget-me-nots, I should, should have known that because we helped choose their name. We've got the forget-me-nots psychic medium group coming in at work and we've got about 32 guests in. They're all having afternoon teas and the girls are gonna do their stuff and pick up messages and give messages, send, receive. It's really good, actually. I mean, you know, we've had a couple of them in the past and these girls, they're, re they're really, what, what's the word? They're like really switched on, they're really in tune. You know, they see, hear, smell things. 
I'm really looking forward to it. So it's going to be a good night, but we're going to get out of work late. So we won't be using the bus tomorrow night. Hopefully we'll get to use it Sunday after work. It'd be nice if we can sleep in it on Sunday because we got a uh, Monday off. So that'd be nice, but we'll have to see. See what happens. See what plans Jackie's got for us on Monday. We've landed. That was a nice drive and we got here in the sunshine. Still got here with the daylight. It's very, very nice out there. So I'm going to go around the back turn the gas on because we can't put the kettle on or cook anything until we got the gas on got a nice horse there's some beautiful horses around here let's see if we can get some of these horses we're really close to them look at the beautiful horses oh wow right past the van oh. there's more up there i think it's going to go out of my sight now jackie unless you can get him a, yes. through the yeah. window look, oh, look at the slipping. screen you know what you're doing there. oh <laughs> right by the van <laughs> What's he doing? He just wants me to smooth him, he I think. He probably does, doesn't he? Yeah. They're, probably, they're so used to people. But I ain't got my window undone. And I'll, as soon I'll... as you flick the switch, he'll get frightened. Oh, I can see his big eyes. Oh, my God. As soon as I slide that door back, there you go. Oh, my gosh. Drop, drop. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. They're gorgeous, oh. aren't they? Yeah, Dartmoor, it's like He's a, a free something. petting zoo. I thought he was going to be scared when I opened the window, but he wasn't. Oh, he's picking up stones to try to eat them. Just scratch. Oh, it's rubbish, isn't it? Well, we're going to have some food in a bit, but you probably can't eat them. As soon as I open that door, you'll probably Because you're up. not allowed to feed horses. Pass it here a minute. Because it's surprising people poison them. You Let's have to be what... careful what you feed horses. Let's see what he does when I open the door. He's going to try to come in. <laughs> Hello, horse. <laughs> Hello, horse. How are you? Are you being a good horse? You've been very friendly. Let's jump out. Here, horse. Can I smooth you? Or are you going to eat me? Hey. Hello, horse. Oh, what a lovely horse. What a lovely horse. I don't know what... Do they wag their tails from happiness? Hello, horse. What a beautiful horse. Oh, yeah. You're nice, aren't you? What a nice... Look at all your friends over there. I'm going to shut this door in case you try to get in the van. Because you'll probably wreck my suspension, if nothing else. I'm going to go around the back. Because I need to get the gas on. <laughs> Hello, horse. We've got, a, we've got a pet horse now. Jackie, there you are. Let's get the gas on. Are you allowed to call horses blackie? <laughs> oh, and this is the gas locker. Next Tuesday, they're actually taking the van away. They got the wrong step last time and they're fitting a decent step on it. And they're also going to fit an extra gas bottle because initially they said they couldn't fit two in there. But everybody I've spoken to says, don't be daft. The locker's meant for two gas bottles, so they can fit another one in there. So I told them that, and they said, we'll have a look at it. So hopefully they can stick another gas bottle in, and we won't have to fill up quite so often. That's that one. That's that one. Look at all these horses. Lots of them. There's another one there. And there's William. Oh, this one's still here. Hello, horse, you can't move in. I bet he's going to drop something out right by the door. 
Hello, horse. We know you're a nice horse. I don't know whether you're a boy or a girl. Hey. Hey, you gonna let me get back in? Ah, oh, you're a nice horse. I'm not sure if this one's pregnant. This has a big belly. There. Right, I'm gonna go back in the van now. Or are you gonna let me get in? Are you gonna let me get in? He says, yeah, we'll fit in there, no problem. <laughs> Is that a horse, Daisy? What do you make of the horse? Daisy. What do you make of the horse? That's my belly in the way there. Where's the horse? Is that the horse? It's a very pretty horse, isn't it? Daisy, tell me what you think of the horse. Well, I think it's a really nice animal. You know, it's a lot bigger than me. It's got more hair than me. And, you know, it needs a bit of a wash, but it seems quite peaceful. See a horse. And once again, lunch is served. You can have lunch, Daisy. Daisy's having that today. <laughs> some dog food. She's going to have to slum it and have dog food. But if she's good, she can have some cheese after. Okay, so we've had our tea. And now I'm trying to convince Carl to try this new game. But he hates games. Don't you, Carl? I love games. Yeah. Try and get all your head of it. No, he hates games. I love games. I've been playing games for the last 19 years since I've been with and you. And so what time is it? Eight o'clock. So we're going to play a couple's quiz game. Right, here we go. Right, I'm going to fill our details in. Player one's name. It has to be me. Player two's name is going to be Carl. Zoom out a bit. Oh, see. Okay, right. So first of all, it's me that's going to start. Okay. Answer the next ten questions, and then you have to answer them after me. What well, you're answering them first? Yeah. So don't look at my answers. Right, here you go, Carl. Your turn. Oh. You have to answer the questions. Can I say them out loud? Yeah. Right. Who is the best cook? Well, by far me. Do I have to tap it? Yeah. That's me. Yeah, does that tick mean you clicked it right? You both faulted Who... to Carl. Yay. Who is the better cook? Next one. Who is the better kisser? Oh, that's a difficult one. Um, um, oh, my God almighty. We don't do an awful lot of that nowadays, don't we? Oi. <laughs> well, we pack. We do little people's packs, don't we? Let's have a look. Who is the better kisser? That's got to be me, isn't it? <laughs> I knew you'd say it was you. I'm the better kisser, thank no, you. You're, well, you're you... a good kisser, but I'm the, I'm the you boss. You eat my face. Yeah, that's what it's all about, isn't it? You both voted for yourself next. Who has the best job? That's a difficult one because I do everything backstage. Yeah, but if you include singing as my job, then if the singing is part of the job, then I got the best job because you're just front of house and you're always moaning about being front of house and having to put a brave face on when you're not even feeling it. So who has the best job? I'll say me. Yeah, oh, hey, I agree. You both voted for Carl. Who is the laziest? That's Ooh. that's a difficult one because sometimes I do like to be a blob, but like generally when we come home from work, I'll just look after you until bedtime and then I'll and I'll even <laughs> feed you, bring you snacks all night, yeah, until bedtime. But then any time after about eleven, that's it, I'm dead. And then you gotta take Daisy out, but then you always moan about having to do one thing at the end of the day. <laughs> and you always make me feel like I'm lazy when I've been running around after you all night. So who is the laziest? I think you will say, I don't know what you will say, you. Yay! Yay! I think so too. <laughs> Every night when we go when we go and park up on the moors or we go camping in the van or anything like that, you just sit in the back of the van, do nothing. Lady Muck. Lady Muck. Who is the most romantic? Oh. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I forget to be romantic. I always tell you I love you. And I'm always feeding you and 
looking after you. I'll say me, but then you're always watching my videos with love hearts. I ain't got a clue, so I could say you. I'm going to say you on this occasion. Yay! Yay! That's because you watch my videos of me singing and you are basically my biggest fan. Mm. <laughs> Next, who is the most intelligent mm. shit? Um, who is the most intelligent? God, Jackie, without a doubt. Exactly. Yeah, I'm thick I am. Well, I, I don't even know whether I'm thick. I just can't be bothered to think. It's too much hard work. Well, that's what I got a woman for. I had a mother to think for me for the first 20 years of my life. Then I had an ex-wife to think for me. That didn't work out well because she she cocked it all up and booted me out. And now I've got you to think for me. So. And if it all goes wrong, it's your fault. Charming. Who is the most intelligent? You both voted yeah. for Jackie. Who, Who is, is the, the best, best looking? looking? Oh, well, I'd say you 100%. And if you were using your noggin, you'd say you, because you know you're like, you you know, you're like 50, but you look like 34. And I'm like 52, but I look like 82. No, you don't. I do, don't I look like that. an old man. Who is the best looking? Jackie. Why did you not vote for you? Because I... You know, no. you, you know you're a MILF. Shh. What? Don't be stupid. What, Carry mother? Carry on to the next one. I love to feed. I'm always feeding you. Right. You both voted for each other next. <laughs> Who is the, the best, best singer? singer? Well, that goes without saying. It's about the only thing I am good at, really. Singing singing and cooking. I can't sing. I can cook. I howl. As as Paul Hogan would say, tastes like shit, but you can live off it. <laughs> <laughs> but who is the better singer? Carl. Carl. Yay. Right. Actually, it doesn't taste like shit. Any of my customers looking at it, don't taste like shit, don't it? It's nice, isn't it? Right. I make cakes, I make roasts, I make curries, I make breakfasts. Highly recommended. I'll make anything. Right. Who is the better singer? We've done that one. You both voted for Carl. Who gets scared the most? Oh, I don't know. We both crap our pants, don't we? <laughs> Who gets scared? Scared about what? Scared? Well, out in the dark, Jackie's more chicken than me. But then I don't like being on my own without Jackie. Well, I'll do it if I've got to, but I'll look her around to look after me. I don't know. I see Jackie. I see Jackie's a chicken. <laughs> oh, you think I get more scared than you? Well, of spiders. And there's me thinking you was the most intelligent. I <laughs> cocked that one up at all. Right. Who can eat the most? Well, to be honest with you, it is Jackie. It is Jackie, but she tries to what? rein it in because she don't want to look like a munter, a fat hog. I don't so eat the most. You do eat the most, but generally you rein it in. So I end up eating the most just to make you feel better. That's a lie. So I'll click me. Yeah, see? You trough from noon to night. You both voted for Carl. Carl. So let's see what. No. Oh, yeah. It's an advert now. Calculating a score. I don't know what's going to come of it. And. Change game mode 70%. Oh, 70% right. that we got right. So. Try quiz two. So, well, we'll just do it, I suppose. Right, we... try quiz two. Answer the next 10 questions. Jackie will then answer the same questions. How many will you answer the same? Go. I don't know what good have come of it. All oh, right, you're looking at this. No, I'm not. My turn. Who spends the most time on their phone, Carl or Jackie? Carl. He's always on his phone. Only because you always you're... even takes it to the toilet yeah. with him. O only because you're always on your iPad. Not as so much as you're on your phone. I don't take my iPad to the toilet. Uh, you do. I've seen you take it to the toilet to play that word game. <laughs> anyway, we both voted for Carl. Yay! Yay! Who gets up earliest in the morning? Ooh, that's Carl as well. Yeah. He's a very good early bird. Yeah. And he's still got to feed you. Yay. Bring you tea. Who is the most daring? Carl is as much chicken as a much chicken. He's not very daring, I would say, Jackie, on this occasion. I like to take a chance. Yay! There's daring really and great. then there's plain stupidity. I like to play it safe. <laughs> Who is the funniest? Carl or Jackie? Though that's tricky. I can't remember what I clicked for that. Well, let's say Carl. Carl! 
Oh, your ego? Yeah, well, You've you, voted but, yourself. But I am funnier than you. Go on, what's next? Who is the most stylish, Carl or Jackie? I'd actually say Carl. No. I'd, oh. I'd actually say Carl. No. <laughs> I would say Carl because Carl, when, one of the things I liked about him when I met him. Yeah. It's the way you, Carl, is the way you dress, your boots, that was your 20, smart yeah, but nature. That, that was 20 years ago. None of it fits me yeah, no more. But then you're also good at trying to pick me outfits as well. So I'll say Carl because I haven't got a clue, to be honest. That's stupid. I'll wing it. That's a stupid answer. Well, I'm still doing it. Yes, so you voted me. I did vote for you. Who is the most awkward? Oh, strange question. I'd say Jackie. <laughs> you said Jackie too. Damn right, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> Who spends the most time in the bathroom? Well, it has to be me, doesn't it? Because I do my hair and everything. As soon as we can't vote for Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who is the most outgoing? Ooh, Carl. Yay, we got that right. Who is the most ticklish? I'd say me. Because I don't, can't get through the blubber. <laughs> well, I'll struggle. I've <laughs> <laughs> got a big finger, thankfully. <laughs> yes, Jackie is the most ticklish. And who is the fussiest eater? Oh, well, I know you'll always say you'll eat anything dead. So it has to be me. I'm the fussiest eater. I'll eat a scabby donkey. Yeah, so I am the fussiest eater. But I'm not a fussy eater, am I, Carl? Well, you were with that chicken muck crispy the other day that you thought wasn't a chicken muck crispy, oh, but Lauren said it was. It was from Cornwall, that's why. Cornish muck crispy. Yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If it's a Cornish muck crispy, I'd hate to think what the crispy bits were. It was crab. Not as nice as over in Plymouth. Any more? This is the result What's of the, the result? second round. So that's 90% correct. So we've just played this couples quiz game for the first time and it's asked me to leave them a review or rate it one out of five this is um the results of what we think of this game are you are you filming my screen well it's in the pitch okay so this is what we think of it couples quiz remove delete app it was a laugh, though, wasn't it? It was a laugh, but that's about it. But if, if, if I want a decent laugh, that's what a mirror's for, isn't it? I don't think we needed questions to realise who's good at what. Okay? Okay. The end. This is mental, really. Jackie's laying on the bed playing with her iPad with Daisy. I've not been up to the van all day, so I just thought I'd come up and have a little go inside and check the van check the van's all right everything like that so turn the lights on just went and laid on the bed in the back it's just like going into another room and it's just like parked up the top of our top of our steps it's just surreal actually having another room like a little apartment parked at the top of the steps at least it's somewhere for me to go if jackie gets fed up with me <laughs>
Where's Theo? Where's little man? Granddad. Granddad and little man. Beautiful boy. Oh, you beautiful boy. <laughs> granddad, granddad and little man. <laughs> That's it for this week. Thank you all for watching. Looking forward to our next video. Tomorrow we've got the guys from the dealership picking up the van and hopefully finally getting our electric steps sorted once and for all and also our second refillable gas bottle fitted. See you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.